I'm Jess. I'm a biologist. Usually, I go out to cool exotic places to look for animals, but today, I'm stuck at home, so I'm going to see what cool animals I can find around a neighborhood as well. Let's go look for some. Hey look! There's a squirrel. That might not seem like the most exciting animal to see, but squirrels are really quite neat. Squirrels are rodents and are omnivores. That means they will eat pretty much anything. There are 280 different species of squirrel. The squirrels here in Montreal are gray squirrels. Even though not all of them are gray, gray squirrels can be black, brown, white, or a combination of colors. Squirrels tend to do well in places where people live because they can climb structures like telephone poles and eat whatever they can find. This special skill is the reason why we see them so much. Another kind of animal that can be seen a lot in places where people live is birds. Birds are very smart, especially crows. Crows have facial recognition, which means that they can tell people apart and recognize them. Crows can also use tools, solve problems, and teach each other new skills. Clever bird. Robins like to eat worms and berries and can often be seen hopping around on the ground looking for food, especially early in the morning. People often think robins are a sure sign of spring because they come back when the weather is warmer. But robins can actually stay here all winter long. Other migratory birds are a better sign of spring. Nuthatches also stay here all year round. Nuthatches walk down trees head first, which is something most birds can't do. They probe around in tree bark looking for bugs to eat, so you can see them tapping on trees like woodpeckers do. Woodpeckers use their beaks to bore into trees and look for bugs. When they find one, they pull it out using their super long tongue and eat it. In fact, woodpecker tongues are so long that they wrap around their brain and act like shock absorbers when they bang their heads against trees looking for food. Geese are very large birds that migrate in groups. You can see them coming back in the springtime flying in a V shape. By flying in this V shape, the birds in the back get pulled a bit by the one in front of them, and they can all help each other out. Wow, we saw so many cool animals just by looking around a neighborhood. Now it's your turn to see what you can find, or what other animals you can find in your area.